John, thanks for giving us those details about the court case. What sort of numbers do you think you might be expecting? I know you had around 30 at the last court case, which yep. was the mention. Well, I hope that you get as many as not more because uh, what, once people realise that this is important to them, you know, it's their families, their country that's involved, you know, so uh, in, in, the, in the past, like going for 10, uh, 15 years or so, I would have uh, 30s and 50, I had yeah, 50 people, uh, 54 in the high court supporting me, so uh, folks think, I'm the most unglamorous person in the world, but it's the, the principle of what we try to pursue. So everybody's got to get on this principle of, of what we are as free men, and we have a right uh, not to be persecuted or uh, our property stolen and so forth uh, by tyrants. It's, it's history repeating itself. So unless we know it, the fundamentals of our rights, which all stem from Magna Carta, uh, uh, we are just dead, dead meat. Can you explain to us what is the meaning or the concept of a flash jury? Because this was this was a key part of, of having that gathering in the park beforehand. Well, it, it's really sort of uh, been almost spontaneous to think because uh, trial by jury has always been uh, the grand jury, the grand jury, and then then you have the trial jury. So they're, they're the, the standard trial by jury procedures. The grand jury and the petite or the trial jury. Okay, but they won't allow us to have that. They won't allow us to have uh, uh, grand juries. So we've got to improvise. So I regard the, those two entities as ordinary. Okay, so because they don't allow us ordinary trial by jury, we've got to go extraordinary. We've got to now do our own uh, grand juries, which I've done several of them, and, and indict people uh, and for uh, serious offences of maladministration. All we're doing is copying the same procedure as the regular or ordinary uh, grand jury, but we're going, and not, not taking place under their guise. We can do it anywhere we like, down in Hobart, up in Broome or whatever. We can conduct our own grand juries and come up with a true bill of indictment, regular procedures, okay? But because they won't allow that in the courts, we've got to address what they call questions of law, the fundamentals of law. And the, the most fundamental question in Australia is do we have the right to try by our equals, but try by jury, making Carter? And because we have been denied that in the courts. And I've asked, okay, this is a question of law, it's got to go to the High Court to be settled. And they said, no, we won't, won't allow it to go to the High Court, so therefore we've got to do an, an extraordinary question of law. So we've got to create what they call flash juries. So this, this concept of a flash jury, an impromptu, it only takes five minutes to do it. And you gather some people, you do a regular uh, oath, that, uh, so help me God and so forth, and that makes it a jury, because a jury is people who swear an oath. That's what jury means. Jury means right law oath. So once you've established the jury, you put the question of law to the jury and they give us an instant answer. So uh, on the 23rd we did one in Hyde Park. It, the whole thing took less than half an hour. In fact, the, all you're going to do is a very simple uh, question. See, that, that's the question. Yes or no? And you do that and then you could do a concurrence and that's the end result. It's a concurrence of a flash jury. So uh, each juror would be required to, to say an oath and sign some paperwork? Yeah, uh, they're, they're all given a copy of this. So all numbered, uh, 10, 15, any number you like. So and they're, 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 they're the people on that occasion. But you, you can go on for 50 or 100, it doesn't matter. There's so it's not limited by numbers, um, and you simply convene that jury yeah. on the day of, of the court hearing, and, and you march into court yeah, you, together. Yeah, you, you announce, this case is on, and we, uh, we know they're going to deny us our rights. We know in advance because they've done it every time. So we say, we've got to put our foot down and uh, assert our sovereignty. We have sovereignty. We have the ultimate authority to make and impose laws. 
Okay? They don't have authority. Okay? And the parliament doesn't have authority. The people have sovereignty. So we've got to assert uh, sovereignty to protect our, our lives, liberties, properties. And then we do that by outwitting them. And then this is, this is a perfectly 100% legal document. And you say, here it is. Here's the, the findings of our uh, impromptu, ad hoc, whatever you want to call it, flash jury. And, and there it is. So try and ignore that at, at your peril. Because we, we've got to reform and restore our courts to administer justice. And say, oh no, they're only uh, sort of enforcing the law. The, the law and law and justice are not synonymous because you can have a law which is unjust. We want places that administer justice. So if you've got these bad laws like COVID or anything under the sun, you say, no, we can stop that. We can stop that by asserting our authority, our sovereignty, in court. So we nullify all these bad laws. We govern our own country, lawfully, according to Magna Carta. But when you get into court, they say, oh, Magna Carta is obsolete. It says, never obsolete. It's been, it's been granted forever. Uh, but this, this is a, 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 a log jam. This is where we, we are facing the enemy who want to take away our freedoms and our laws. And we say, no, we, we've had enough. We're not going to take it anymore.